Hello there and welcome to the DataTech video training series for the 3CX phone system. Today we will be going over how to create and schedule a conference call. If you're using your extension for the conference call, you can create the conference from your existing 3CX My Phone system interface. If you plan on having the conference in the conference room, you will first need to change your 3CX My Phone, temporarily of course, to be provisioned for the conference room phone extension, which is 1995. You can do this by going to the F drive and the conference phone provisioning file folder. Double click the file and that will automatically provision your My Phone to be the conference extension, which is 1995. As you can see here, 1995 and the conference room is now the provisioning. Now that we've provisioned your phone correctly, we can create or schedule our conference. Click on the conference icon in the toolbar, which is the group of people. You have a few options here. You can create an ad hoc or an immediate conference, schedule a conference for later time, view an immediate conference, or view any scheduled conferences. Click the schedule conferences option to bring up the conference scheduling window. Put in a conference name. For our purposes, we're just going to put in test conference. Under your conference description, you just want to put a uh, description of your conference. Again, we'll just put in test conference. Next, we will enter our conference DID number. This is the number that external participants will call in to join the conference. It will usually be our main phone number, 813-872-8011. Now we want to schedule when the conference will occur. Choose your date and time to start the conference. We will choose the 8th at 1245 p.m. And then we'll choose our date and time to end the conference, which will be the 8th at 1.45 p.m. You can check the Enable Announcements to hear an announcement when a participant enters the conference. Click the Next button. Now we will choose our internal participants. These are your internal extensions. When the conference is scheduled, the conference will automatically call the extension you choose here. These participants can participate from their extensions or office if they so choose to. If their phone is busy at the time the conference is to begin, they will have the option to call extension 7000 to join the conference once they hang up and enter the conference ID number when prompted. We will choose me. Now that we have all our internal extensions chosen, we're going to go ahead and click the next button. Now we're allowed to add external participants. There are two ways you can add external participants. One type is to just type in their email address in the blank field and click the plus sign. You can add as many as you like here. The second way is if you have already added people to the contacts, you can click on the contacts folder and add whoever may be in the external contact field. If you accidentally choose a contact, you can remove them by clicking the trash button next to their name and that will make them go away. Go ahead and click the schedule button. This will send a calendar invitation to all the, participate, all the participants and will look like this. Here you will see the time and day, the conference number, the required people, the name of the conference that you've given it, the external phone number there to dial, and the conference ID. Now that you have successfully created your conference, you need to provision your My Phone back to your original extension. As you can see, we're still on a conference room extension. This can be done by going to your home folder on the H drive and finding the My Phone provisioning file folder. 
open up that folder double click the extension and this will automatically provision your phone back to your internal extension as you can see here my extension my name and that's it we have created and scheduled a conference thanks for watching this video and happy conferencing